It's the coolest thing that I've ever worked on as a dynamics engineer. It's a dream. Passion. That's the secret to this car, I think. It's, it's absolutely sensational, you know, your hairs are standing up on the back of your neck and everything. It's pretty intense. It's properly awesome. It was a pretty crazy idea to start with, and having got all the targets that we had to make the car as fast as it had to be and to make it really look the part, everybody really got so behind the car, everybody was so excited about it, that it, it kind of almost runs away on its own. It's like a snowball. This was just wildly different. There's only 30% commonality, so it just meant really starting from fresh. It was a challenge trying to kind of maintain what an XE is. Um, short of the, um, the front door, the roof, the front glass, we changed every panel. Usually when we design cars, um, we're usually fighting engineering tooth and nail to kind of push the wheels out another 5 mil, 10 mil. Everything we could have wanted on the car, they gave us at the start of the project, so um, it was a real pleasure to work on, a real, real pleasure. There was no limit with this programme which is very rare these days to be able to do that. The chassis underneath it is the stuff that we'll dream of. It's got all of the ingredients that you would want. If you had a wish list and you sat down and said, I need this, this and this, it has all of that. It's got the motorsport spring rates, it's got ceramic wheel bearings, it's got almost solid engine mounts, it's got rose jointed top mounts, it's got solid subframe bushes. The list is endless, really. In the pursuit of ultimate performance, even in design, we're kind of thinking along an engineer's line, like, can we save weight here? Can we save weight there? But you still have to make a car beautiful. So we had to be really sharp to make sure we delivered all of the exciting styling and all of the engineering performance, because at the end of the day, we still had to have the fast car. You'd expect manufacturers to take their cars to proving grounds around the world. With Project 8, we've gone one step further. We've taken the car to racetracks around the world. We wanted a focused, fast, balanced car that could deliver lap times. We drive the cars on mountain roads, we drove on cold passes in all conditions to get the car to be balanced everywhere. It had to be the fastest run on track, it had to be the most engaging from a customer point of view. It took a lot of extra effort to develop this car because we had to work on such a tight timescale, but also with such a small team. We broke the rules. We broke the rules all the way through. If you needed something doing, you could just go and do it. The freedom that we were given on this car drove a lot of the key attribute driven items. To not feel like they were constrained, we were allowed to engineer to our heart's desire. I describe it as the, the longest, fastest roller coaster that you've ever been on. Just the, the hardest proving ground in the world. So Project 8 has been coming to the Nürburgring since early 2017. I think it's fair to say that this is its spiritual home. I mean, I remember when I first started here trying to get a Jaguar under eight minutes, and that was a challenge. And now here we are today, well below 7.30. There are many elements that we need to, to all align to deliver a record break in that time. We had a high level target of what we wanted to achieve. We spent weeks honing the driver, getting him used to the different ways that the car works. The weather's got to be with you, not too hot, not too cold. You know, the track, you don't want dust and grease on it. The amount of commitment and the very, very small margin for error down there is, uh, is really special. Vincent Radamac has been involved with Project 8 nearly from the start. He's very calm, quiet out the car, gives his feedback, um, and then you put him in it. And he's just, yeah, amazing. Pride and emotion when the car passed the line. It was it was it was relief after all this hard work. To take our own record off ourselves really really validates that we made a fantastic car. The track record when that came in, looking at the video, watching it with the whole team there, the round of applause afterwards, the adrenaline. I can feel it now. 
what we achieved at Nürburgring is brilliant. It's basically a real showcase of what SVO are capable of. It will always have a special place in my heart because every time I see one it just makes me smile. In, in this day and age where we're kind of leaning towards more electrification, this is probably the only chance you're ever going to get in your career to work on something like this. We started off as a team where we turned into a family and without that we couldn't have delivered projects. Like so I look forward to showing you what we do next. There's some good things to come. <laughs>